guys and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video we are going to hopefully, again, fingers crossed, we are going to be stretching my ears up to a 6 gauge today. I sincerely apologize for my appearance. I just got out of the shower again because I feel like last time with my 8 gauge stretch, getting out of the shower and massaging my ears and all that good stuff, so I did the exact same thing today. I got out of the shower, I massaged them a little bit more with the vitamin E oil, and now we are going to attempt to stretch. This one I am probably most nervous to do because I hear that the 8 to 6 is pretty gnarly, pretty painful, and I'm a little nervous. But yeah, that's why I look like a giant bag of dicks at the moment is because I literally just popped out of the shower, my hair is still wet, I'm in a fucking bathrobe on the internet, like I just, I want to die. Without further ado, let's go ahead and try to stretch my ears to a 6 gauge. So it has been exactly, what's today, the 7th? It has been exactly a month since I stretched to 8 gauge. So my ears are doing pretty well. I am i don't know if we're gonna be able to get to a 6 today. Just, ah, I'm just so nervous. I'm nervous, but we're gonna just have a good time. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna do it clean. So if you guys want to watch me stretch my ears up to an 8 gauge, or I'm sorry, up to a 6 gauge, then let's get started. I have never been so appalled with the way I look right now. Like, this is fucking ugly. And the lens that I'm using today is like a very wide angle zoom lens and it's very, very good quality. It was very, very expensive and I feel like you can see literally everything and my social security number. Like, this is just repulsive. As usual, we're gonna use the same stretching technique that I have been using. I'm going to be using my six gauge stretching kit from Urban Body Jewelry. Holy shit, do you guys see? the fucking size of that taper. And then of course we also have some hand sanitizer, hashtag coronavirus, and we also have some water-based lube that I am going to be using. So I am going to take some water-based lube on the back of the packaging here, just so we have a nice little glob of it. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start with this ear first because this is the ear that I'm most not looking forward to doing it. So we're just gonna get this one out of the way. Now, as usual, I am gonna go very slow. I'm gonna be very careful. If it starts to become excruciating, obviously I'm gonna stop. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some lube on my finger and I'm going to lube up the ear really, really well. As you can see, I'm putting quite a bit of lube on there. And very slowly, we are just going to All right, so right here, right? Just gonna let it sit for a second. Don't. I mean, it's through pretty decently, like a decent amount of the way. And I'm also watching the back of my ear. Yeah, dude, this was no fucking joke. This has been like the hardest one for sure. Okay, so it look like this ear is quite ready, which is fine. We'll try again. But I am gonna try to do my right ear. And putting some lube on the taper and we'll try this ear. I don't think it's gonna happen today guys. All right I'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes just kind of let my ear do its stretching thing um, and then try to push in a little bit more. I'm not forcing it. I'm not pushing it. I just have my finger resting on it. I'm just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and try again and if this doesn't work, then this was my six gauge stretch fail. So that's cool. <laughs> okay guys, I think I got it. Woo! Holy shit, that actually worked. I'm, I'm gonna hold it because it's kind of heavy. Let me check the back of my ear to make sure I didn't just, you know, fuck something up. I know you guys can't see, but I just looked in the mirror and I checked the back of my ear, everything. <coughs> Looks pretty good. Again, I'm just going to kind of leave the taper here for a second. Now I'm going to take the 6 gauge tunnel and I'm going to follow... E no, I'm not. Holy god damn, these tunnels are a bitch. I am so confused. Okay guys, so I don't know what the issue is really, but I'm able to get the taper through, but as you can see the tunnel just does not want to go through. I don't really know what that means, but 
I'm going to take that as a sign that uh, my ears are just not ready for six gauge. So this is going to be my very first fail <laughs> ear stretching video. Now obviously my ears are red. There was a lot of rubbing stuff going in and out of them. My ears don't hurt. They're just red and I just I don't know why I can't get the tunnel. I can get the taper through but not the tunnel. I'm going to end this video here so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my six gauge ear stretch fail video and I will try again in another couple of weeks because today is just a uh, Today's not the day and I don't want to rip my ear off. So fortunately we didn't get up to six gauge today, but let me just say, holy fucking shit. People were not kidding when they said that eight to six is no fucking joke because this is no fucking joke, dude. Like <sighs> go down and give this video a thumbs up. Pray that my ears let me go up to six gauge at least April. That's the goal. That's all I'm asking for. Six gauge by April. I think that's a pretty realistic goal. I'm just letting my ear chill for a sec and then I'm going to put the eight back in like I did over here. Make sure you guys go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the actual six gauge stretch video. That would be pretty bomb if you guys could subscribe. Thumbs up. Get me in that algorithm. Let YouTube know that you like my videos. That would also be bomb. I love you guys so much and and uh, I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.